God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the presence of our Saviour Jesus. Let's bow in reverence and surrender ourselves into His loving hands. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we adore you, we worship you for having blessed us with this gift of life and this gift of day. Lord, help us to use this day and this life that you have blessed us in honor to praise you, to worship you, and more importantly, to bring glory to you. Let our thoughts, our actions be guided by the Holy Spirit. May everything that we do may reflect your love, your care, concern. May we become another you, dear Jesus, and thus go out into the world with your grace and strength to uplift our brothers and sisters to do the work that you have entrusted to us. Bless us, guide us and strengthen us, dear Jesus, because it is in and through your strength that we are strengthened. It is in and through your grace we are blessed. So dear Jesus, as we raise our hands, our hearts, our minds with gratitude to you, accept our praise and adoration. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise you Jesus, thank you Jesus, we love you Jesus, thank you Jesus, praise you Jesus, adore you Jesus, we love you Jesus, hallelujah, 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 praise you Jesus, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, 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 thank you Jesus, adore you Jesus, we love you Jesus, we glorify you Jesus, hallelujah, 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 praise you Jesus, thank you Jesus, praise you Jesus, thank you Jesus, we love you Jesus, hallelujah, 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 praise you Jesus, praise you Jesus, praise you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. My dear friends, today we are praying for our brothers and sisters who are sick and suffering. Let us bring them before the Lord, like those friends who brought their paralytic friend and when they found that the entrance was crowded, they went up the roof and removed the tiles and lowered their friends. And Jesus looked at them and said, It is because of your faith that this man I will heal. So with the same faith in our hearts and minds, as we sing this hymn, Jesus the Healer, let us bring our brothers and sisters and if at all we are sick and require God's healing then let's surrender ourselves our infirmities and let's ask the Lord to touch us and heal us so that we are able to praise him to worship him and bring glory to him so let's make this hymn our prayer and surrender our brothers and sisters and ourselves as we sing the hymn Jesus the healer Jesus the healer is here in our midst as he has promised to be standing among us with arms, arms open wide giving his love so free who could refuse such tender love? Where is the person so Come all you seek, come all you trouble, let Jesus enter your soul. Come all you seek, Come all you trouble, let Jesus enter your soul. Let's open our hearts in the silence of our hearts to our Savior Jesus and allow him to enter our soul and to heal us and calm us.
Psalm 142. In this psalm, the psalmist prays a prayer in time of trouble. And St. Paul in the letter to Galatians chapter 2 verse 16, he says, A man is made righteous not by obedience to the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. I know we are troubled because of our sicknesses or because the sicknesses of our loved and dear ones. But it is not the trouble that is going to heal us. But it is the faith in Jesus that is going to deliver us and heal us. So, as we recite this Psalm 142, let us make this prayer of the psalmist our own and let's open our soul so that the Lord is able to enter and heal us. In the morning let me know your love, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me, Lord, to do your will. For you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the morning, let me know your love, O Lord. Let us listen with devotedness the scripture reading. Taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 18 to 21. What we suffer in this life can never be compared to the glory as yet unrevealed which is waiting for us. The whole creation is eagerly waiting for God to reveal His sons. It was not for any fault on the part of creation that it was made unable to attain its purposes. It was made so by God. But creation still remains in the hope of being freed like us from its slavery of decadence to enjoy the same freedom and glory as the children of God. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. As we are praying and remembering our brothers and sisters who are sick and suffering and who need our, our prayers and healing in their lives, let us pray for them as we say a healing prayer for our sick and suffering brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are risen from the dead. We believe that you are present in our midst through the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist and in each one of us in your name. We praise and adore you. We give you thanks, Lord, for coming to us as living bread from heaven. You are the resurrection and the life. Lord, you are the health for the sick. We surrender our sicknesses to you. Heal the sick who are right now here and those we remember to you now. You are ever present and you know us all. Lord, have mercy on us. We acknowledge that it is by your power that we are healed. 
We beseech you, Lord, to heal all who are sick and suffering and have compassion on all who are afflicted in their body, those who suffer in their heart and those who suffer in their soul, as they pray and listen to their testimonies of what you are doing by your Holy Spirit, which renews everything in the world. Have mercy upon them. Have mercy upon them. Mary, a loving mother, intercede for our brothers and sisters who are sick and suffering and who need a healing touch in their lives. Do intercede, blessed mother, and in and through your intercession, strengthen them to face the sicknesses and the sufferings that have come in their life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us sum up our prayers and petitions in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, a true knowledge of salvation, so that freed from fear from the power of our foes, we may serve you faithfully all the days of our life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us surrender ourselves once again in the presence of our Saviour Jesus and seek His blessings. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. 
Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.